Okay, everybody. It's the next day after election day, and we just won a victorious victory uh, last night. The election came out the way I wanted it to be, and now we can make Virginia great again. But for now, I'm going down to the Kennedy Center to take some photos of my helmet. Here's the Kennedy Center right there. See that? That's the Kennedy Center. There's the uh, bike dock. I'm gonna dock my bike over here. All right, bike is docked. And now I'm going to walk around the Kennedy Center up here. Okay, everyone, welcome to the Kennedy Center, the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts here by the Potomac River in Washington, D.C. I am here because I needed a nice uh, backdrop. Take photos, look at that chopper. Get to the chopper of my uh, helmet. My new helmet that I made here at the Kennedy Center. All right, well, here's my helmet at the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts. My, uh, my regular camera died on me. So I have to use my iPhone and my GoPro. Hopefully I can make some screen captures out of this GoPro so I can take nice uh, screen captures. Here's the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts, as you can see. Uh, it's a quiet day here. I don't know if they're I don't know if they're even open. Let's see if we can try to go inside and let me see if the uh, the uh, rooftop terrace is is open yet. If not, then I'll just go around. Let me see if the rooftop terrace is open. Here's the uh, Kennedy Center. I don't know if they're open or not. Automatic door. Oh, they are open. Oh, okay. Oh, they're open. Hi, how are you? This is the Kennedy Center, everybody. You know if the rooftop terrace is open? Okay, so let's just go uh, find the elevator and let's go up to the terrace because the terrace they said is open and uh, where's the elevator anyway oh here's the elevator so wow there's nobody here you sure I'm okay here I don't know man let's take the elevator upstairs see what we can find upstairs okay here we go I'm the only one in here here's the terrace level as you can see go upstairs and see what See what we can find up there. Yeah, well, this is the Kennedy Center, everybody. Kennedy Center elevator. And, uh, huh, there we go. Here we 
go, dude. Woo. Yeah, here we are. I think the terrace is open. Let's just go. Let's go to the rooftop terrace and see what we can see in there. I think this is the first time it's been open since uh, since the lockdown. And as you can see, there's nobody here. Why am I the only one here? Am I the only one who knows that the terrace, the roof terrace is open? Here we go. Yes. The rooftop terrace, baby. Woo. Look at this view. Look at this view of Washington, D.C. Look at it. Look, 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 look. See that? There we go. That's the Potomac River right there. That's the Lincoln Memorial. Washington Monument sticking out there. See this? See this road here? Nice, huh? And of course, right next door is the Watergate. The Watergate over there. That's uh. Let's go around the terrace, rooftop terrace, and see what we can see over here. That lot of guys. Wow, that's kind of a dangerous job over there, as you can see. I mean, one, one strong gust of wind, then you can see. See that guy. One strong gust of wind, and he can just get blown down off the uh, off the ledge there. That's kind of dangerous. He should have like a he should have like a safety line or something up here at the rooftop terrace. Oh, it's windy up here. This is the Watergate, everybody. This is the Watergate complex, infamous for the 1972 uh, Watergate break-in. And as we pan over to the left, this is the Georgetown waterfront over here. And that's the Whitehurst Freeway, where all those cars are. And that uh, church tower over there, that's Georgetown University. And this bridge over here, this is the Key Bridge. Let's see if we can zoom into the Key Bridge. We can. Anyway, this is the Potomac River, everyone. And right next door, of course, is Crystal City with all the skyscrapers. See that? Let's see if I can take a selfie over here. Cold day. It's cold and windy, but it's sunny. That's the uh, that's the good thing about it. It's a sunny day, but it's a little cold and a little windy. Behind me is the Watergate complex, and if we pan over here, we see the Potomac River and Georgetown University and the Georgetown waterfront. Yeah, over here in Washington, D.C. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, you cross over the Potomac, here's the Potomac River, and you cross over uh, the bridges into the Potomac and you go into Virginia, and that's the Key Bridge, named after Francis Scott Key, the uh, composer of the National Anthem. And this over here is, uh, is the Roosevelt Bridge. The Roosevelt Bridge, everybody. I drive over this bridge almost every day. Well, lately I have because I I've taken the metro the last couple of months, but but I've gotten tired and sick, sick and tired of the metro because of all the problems. So I decided to drive into work again. And this is the uh, Theodore Roosevelt Bridge that I drive over every day now. The Roosevelt Bridge is, of course, named after Teddy Roosevelt, uh, the great uh, U.S. president, and also he was a military general during the uh, uh, during the wars of the ancient past. And there you go, everybody. That's a nice view here of Crystal City, everyone. Where's the sun coming from? Maybe I can. Take a photo of my helmet somewhere over here. There you go, everybody. Potomac River behind me and Georgetown. And
and uh, that's a nice view. Maybe I can take a screen capture of this and then post it on my Facebook, like this. We are now in the backside of the rooftop terrace of the Kennedy Center. This is the backside. Where uh, uh, we are facing, I am now facing uh, uh, on the west, east, south. This is south over here, right? And that over there is westbound towards Virginia. Because Virginia is to the west. And that's Virginia over there. And this is This is Roosevelt Island in between uh, DC and Virginia is this little island called Roosevelt Island and if you have seen the Avengers movies you will know that Roosevelt Island is the location for the headquarters of SHIELD right there on that little spot is the SHIELD headquarters and the SHIELD headquarters overlooks Washington DC and the Kennedy Center. If you watch the movie, you will see that uh, it overlooks the Kennedy Center, especially in the movie, uh, there is a Captain America movie. I think it was called, uh, yeah. Yes. In the movie Captain America Civil War, Shield headquarters is right behind me. And uh, when Captain America escapes Shield headquarters, he runs across the Roosevelt Bridge and escapes. Here's a nice view of of the bridges. This is the Roosevelt Bridge and that's the Memorial Bridge right there. And way over there, that's that's the 14th Street Bridge. I don't drive over the 14th Street Bridge too much. Only when I go to like, uh, there's a Costco over there that I go to and I drive to drive over the 14th Street Bridge. But otherwise, I take uh, the Roosevelt Bridge over here. It looks like there's some kind of uh, construction going on by the Roosevelt Bridge over here. And now we're back to the corner of the Kennedy Center with a nice view of the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument over there. Too bad we are shooting against the sun. Down here is the, uh, is the performance center that they built just within the last few years. This area used to be a big parking lot. Yeah. Anyway, there's the uh, Lincoln Memorial over there. I can't see because of the glare and the uh, and the Washington Monument right over there. You can see the top of the Jefferson Memorial right there. You can see the top of the Jefferson Memorial. Yeah, there's National Airport, the, the tower of National Airport way over there. I can see it with my own eyes, but I just can't see it on my... Uh... Actually, no, that's not the top of the... That's a National Airport tower right there. See. That's National Airport right there and there's the Pentagon. You can see the Pentagon. That's the Pentagon, that, uh, that kind of low uh, flat building there. That's the Pentagon. And that sculpture with the three things sticking out, that's the Air Force Memorial. And it's supposed to symbolize three aircraft shooting right up into the air with their, with their entrails. East Street Expressway, it comes right off of 66. 66 comes right over here and then right out to East Street and then 66 ends right here on East Street You go right into downtown DC. I know because I drive it every day And here is the building this is the old uh, The old CIA headquarters, but I think they still use it uh, to some capacity Here uh, uh, The view from the rooftop terrace of the Kennedy Center. Okay, well, let's go back inside the Kennedy Center and uh, walk around the Kennedy Center for a little bit before I go back.
because, uh, you know, since I'm here, I might as well do a little exploring, exploring of the Kennedy Center. And uh, here we go. Yeah, well, pretty quiet up here as you can see. I don't think uh, performances are still happening, are happening yet at the Kennedy Center. I know Broadway opened up like last month. So it won't be too long before the Kennedy Center is open again for performances. Up here we have like conference rooms and, and foyers, but we're not staying up here. We're going down to the grand foyer. Let's go down. All right, now we're back down. We are back down at the lower level of the Kennedy Center. Let's see if we can go around this way and go to the grand foyer. Let me go to security. Hang on. Hi. This is the grand foyer of the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts. Dedicated in 1965, I believe, to the memory of John F. Kennedy and his love for the performing arts. And of course, the centerpiece for the grand foyer is this giant sculpture of the head of John F. Kennedy, who, as you know, was elected president in 1960, but was assassinated in Dallas, Texas in 1962. And this is the grand foyer of the Kennedy Center. This is the main stage called the Millennium Stage. I've seen a couple of shows here. I saw the Will Rogers Follies here maybe 20 years ago. Wow, a long time ago. I saw Phantom of the Opera here like two years ago. And, uh, oh, actually no, this is called the Opera House. The Millennium Stage is somewhere over there. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome to the Kennedy Center. This is the uh, main feature of the Kennedy Center, the large bust of John F. Kennedy, President John F. Kennedy here at the main foyer of the Kennedy Center. Well, I was told I couldn't film inside the Kennedy Center. So I just took a little few selfies and that's it. I think I'm gonna go now. And this is, uh, look at that, that's the uh, that's the Watergate complex right next door. One day I'm going to go to the Watergate and uh, do a vlog from there, but not today. Today is just, I don't have time. Uh, I have another Redskin helmet that would be perfect to have the Watergate as the background. So one of these days, maybe even tomorrow or even Friday, I'll go over there and take some photos of the Watergate with my Redskin helmet. But for now, I think I'll just go uh, back to the office or maybe I'll have lunch somewhere. Is there somewhere around here I can have lunch? Uh, maybe. Let me, look, let me walk around to see if I can find somewhere to have lunch. Is it even lunchtime yet? Well, I, uh, I thought I could eat here at the Taza Cafe next door but I didn't have anything I liked so I'm just gonna go back. Maybe I'll eat at the uh, Chipotle. Uh, close to the office. So say goodbye to the Watergate, everyone. And I'm going back to... I'm going to have lunch somewhere. And then, uh, okay, I'll see you back there. Okay, everyone. Just come from the Kennedy Center. And now I'm just riding this bike uphill again, by the way. Back to downtown. Here we are approaching I Street. Maybe we can make a ride on I. This is uh, 25th Street. One of the uh, nice little residential streets here in uh, downtown. 
we're approaching uh, K Street over here. Let's make a ride on K and see where we can go. This is Washington Circle right here. Many streets uh, going to great around Washington Circle, including K Street, uh, Pennsylvania Avenue, 25th Street, and other streets. That's one thing here in Washington DC that there's, there's a lot of, it's circles. All right, we're on K Street now. K Street is known as the business uh, street of Washington DC. K Street has a lot of law firms and lobbying firms and basically a lot of offices, but it's not really a street for like retail or, or shops. There's a few nice restaurants around K Street, but not that much really. Mainly a business. Ow. Uh, let's try 19th Street to find the dock. Because I know on 19th Street there's a dock, I think. And right across the dock is the subway that I sometimes eat at. So let's try, let's try 19th Street. Start to film while uh, I'm riding the bike here. Maybe it's not 19th Street. Okay, here we have the uh, the bike dock. Uh, I don't see any available docks. Look at that, they're all occupied. If I could find at least one that's not occupied. Problem is, problem is they're all occupied. Damn it, I'll have to go to the other dock. Nothing's open around here. It's a Ferrari Testarossa, just like the one Sonny Crockett drove in Miami Vice. Remember Miami Vice? Except he drove a white one. This is a black one. Uh, yeah, this is like a like an 88 or 89 Ferrari Testarossa. Pretty cool, huh? That's a Ferrari Testarossa, baby. Just like Sonny Crockett's car in Miami Vice. That's the Miami Vice car, baby. Right, found an available bike dock over here. So now we're just gonna dock the bike in the available dock, bike dock. See, we gotta, we gotta do that. See, wait, wait, wait for the light. Let's try one more. Whew. Luckily, I found a, a vacant uh, bike dock over here. A little further than I thought. I thought there'd be available bike docks over there where I wanted to go, but I ended up returning the bike right where I got it from, right here on uh, a little too far from, from where I usually get it. But that's okay. At least I'm not aimlessly wandering around with my bike, you know, incurring charges on the bike while I wander aimlessly around looking for an empty bike dock. Yeah, I don't know why. I guess people are not riding bikes today because it's a little cold and windy. That's why all the bike docks are full. Let's go over here to uh, Panera Bread. Uh, not Panera Bread. Hot Belly. And eat lunch just like yesterday, okay? Yeah, so I decided uh, I won't eat at Hot Belly today because I was just here yesterday. So today I went to this place that I go to that has spaghetti with meatballs. You know me. That's my favorite food, spaghetti with meatballs. Anyway, so I just ordered, it takes about 10, 15 minutes to prepare. So I'm just kind of hanging out here outside, waiting for my food. It's a nice day, a little bit cold, a little bit windy, but, but nice. Sunny, better than yesterday, yesterday was raining all day. Yesterday was election day, by the way. And uh, today, my state, Virginia, has its first Republican governor since 2009. And that is good news. Perhaps now we can make Virginia great again. We can move forward and implement things that the other administration couldn't implement and maybe real progress 